Hi guys and welcome back to yet another video. In today's video I'm going to be doing a top 5 of the best weapons in Black Ops 4. That is my opinion but all of these weapons shred and you can use them in pretty much any situations. So yeah, before I start this video properly though I would like to say that thank you for all the support on my channel at the minute, it has been amazing. Like last month in December we gained over 100k views and like I think 360 subs something like that which is insane considering I've only got 1200 subs at the minute. So thank you guys for that. Now let's just get straight into the video with number 5. At number 5, you may be surprised by this, but we have the Paladin HB50. You may be surprised that a sniper made it into the top 5 weapons of like all game all guns on this game, but it's just an amazing weapon. Like it's pinpoint accurate when you want it to be. You can outgun like SMGs with this thing at point blank range. It's just amazing. Now you see here, this is the class setup that I'd usually run with it in a public match. Like this is the exact full class I would use. A pistol just in case I miss my sniper shot and I would just change the pistol and gun them down. And then just change back to the sniper and just slap people more. As you can see by the other clips I've had in other videos, like this weapon is just amazing. <laughs> It is just like phenomenal. It's like I say, it's precise. It just feels good to use. It's satisfying as well when you just see that plus 100 points when you're just sniping everyone. It's just amazing. Well, Paladin's at number five. So there we go. There's that. And at number four, we have this. At number 4 we have the KN57 which yet again is a surprising weapon for me to put in my top 5 considering like when I got this weapon gold I didn't particularly like it. It was good and I've seen the uses of it. It's just like this weapon is not the best without attachments. As soon as you put attachments on it though like shown here hybrid mag, rapid fire, grip and extended mags it just shreds and nothing can stop it. It's accurate, it will have decent damage output as well which is the thing you want in a weapon. And like I say, this is also the class that I'd run with this weapon because you're always going to have stim shot on a class in my opinion. Like, if you can't heal, what's the point in playing? But there we go. The KM57 is in at number 4, as you can see here. Now, yeah, like I say, it's overall just an amazing weapon. I would advise using it, but you know, there's more in this list. In at number 3, we have the Cordite. This weapon... In any map, at pretty much any range, it just shreds. Like, it has an insanely high fire rate, and with the operator mod, it has 600 rounds in a mag, and if you run an extended mag, I believe it has 800 rounds. It's just an absolute laser beam, but I don't run the operator mod on it. Instead, I run extended mags, because with the operator mod, the weapon overheats, and with the overheating, basically, like, you can only fire, I think it's like 70 to 80 shots. With the extended mags, you can actually spray more with the weapon, which is a thing that I do like. And you can reload it and pick weapon up and pick ammo up even with scavenger packs, which is one thing that I like. The only thing I would say criticizing this weapon is I don't particularly like the iron sights, and it's not the most accurate weapon, which is why I run grip on it. So, yeah, the grip just makes it like a better weapon, I suppose, because it's accurate and you can laser beam people more. It's just phenomenal. I've been using this weapon quite a lot in streams, and it has just been like annihilating people. It was a good weapon even without attachments, and as soon as you put attachments on it, it's just like a GG. Like, there's a web there's a video on my channel even, where I go on Nuketown and I just body the lobby. I think it was 33 to 1, which isn't the best, but, you know, it is a very good weapon. In second place we have the ICR-7. This gun was in Black Ops 3, so it may be familiar to many of you, which is probably why you started using it. In this game, if you have Grip 1 and Grip 2 on this weapon, it has literally no recoil at all. It is just amazing. You can slaughter people close range using SMGs and shotguns with it because it's that accurate and has decent damage output, even though they have nerfed it recently, but it still does quite a lot of damage. And the Grip 1, Grip 2, like I say, makes it outrange snipers. As long as you're shooting at the person, they're dead. Like, it just doesn't go up in, it doesn't go side to side. No sway, no recoil, an amazing weapon. Um, also run the long barrel as well just to like help you in the longer ranges because the range drop off on it is quite strong I believe but if you run long barrel on it it helps you out massively trust me there like outgunning snipers for days with this weapon so 
So here we go guys, this is the final weapon on the list, the best weapon in my opinion in Black Ops 4, the Swordfish. Like if anybody knows me, I just go around in pubs with this weapon and just slay people. Like if you could see gun stats, I reckon my KD with this gun would be around a 3.5 to 4. It's just absolutely phenomenal. You can see in my stream, my recent stream as well, like where I grinded from level 100-ish upwards. It's just phenomenal. The weapon... If you have run the operator mod on it, Penta Burst, it makes it a 5 round burst, which makes it a 1 burst. And then if you run hybrid mags, because that gives you both the best world on fast mag and extended mag. So that means you end up getting 50 rounds in the mag, which is just amazing, honestly. So if you run Penta Burst with hybrid mags, it gives you 50, which is 10 bursts, which is more than enough to kill a whole team. Like, it has decent damage output, fast fire rate, Amazing accuracy, like that is just everything you want in a weapon. The only criticism I have of this weapon is the fact that the range drop-off is a bit harsh, which is why I also run long barrel on this class, sacrificing a perk for that for that attachment. And also, as always, stem shot, because stem shot's just amazing. Anyway guys, that is it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy it, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you and Side in the